what would you do if your pastor stood in the pulpit at your church this Sunday and stated, all things are created in the image and likeness of God? At that time in my life, it's true to say that I shared the Enneagram with people more than I had ever shared the gospel. So there's always this idea, there's really this true self that's hidden. I mean, what if he followed that statement by claiming that, quote, I have never been separate from God, nor can I be except in my mind? You, you've got a Bible. Is that statement supported by scripture? Look, just because you put the name Christian in front of a pagan practice does not make a Christian. People will often argue to me that, oh, I can blend paganism with Christianity. It's impossible, they're opposites. One, paganism glorifies false gods and self, and Christianity only glorifies God. How can that be blended when they're polar opposites? The Enneagram is very gospel-centered. Yes, it, it is true. But the gospel of the Enneagram is not the gospel found in Scripture. The whole Enneagram diagram is called the face of God. Think about that. If you could look out at reality from nine pairs of eyes and honor all of them, you would look at reality through the eyes of God. The Enneagram Gospel is the gospel of self-knowledge that leads to self-transformation, that leads to self-mastery. And man will always be the hero of that process. Why turn to mystics and occultists instead of the Word of God?